Summer camp is supposed to be fun, but for one girl, it seems terrifying. She is very shy and is scared of the woods, but when she gets there, she realizes that camp is nothing like she expected. She spends most of her time swimming in the lake, which is never crowded. The camp counselor is so nice and doesn't get mad at the girl when she's too frightened to go on forest walks. And every night, the counselor plays a lights out song on her flute that is so pretty and calming that she's asleep the second it starts. But the girl starts feeling that something is off. The other campers are starting to act almost too nice. The counselor's flute song is almost too calming like it's making the girl fall unconscious. Whenever she tries to get someone to swim with her, they refuse. Even the few campers who would swim with her at the beginning of camp now seem terrified of the water. And then there's the campfire tales. Every night, the counselor tells stories of evil elves who live in the forest, tricking and eating groups of humans, always leaving the weakest for last. And the other kids laugh like it's the funniest thing they've ever heard. Still, she is enjoying being at camp, until the final night. There is a dance to celebrate the end of camp, and the music is so loud that the girl stuffs cotton balls in her ears. She forgets to take them out, and in her bed that night, she can't really hear the flute song. But it doesn't matter, as she is almost asleep, until she hears the other campers get up and run out of the bunks. The girl pretends to be asleep until they are gone. Then, she slowly opens her eyes, gathers up her courage, and heads out. She follows sounds of laughter coming from the camp stage, but as she gets closer, she realizes it's not the laughter of children. It sounds more like wild animals screaming. When she gets to the stage, she nearly screams herself. Everyone has changed. They're now three feet tall, with pointy ears, red eyes, long claws for fingernails, and sharp fangs for teeth. They're the owls from the campfire stories. But the real horror is on stage. One of the elves is dressed like her. She watches as the elves act out her entire time at camp. She sees herself telling the counselor that she's scared of the woods. She sees herself falling asleep to the music as other campers are dragged out of their beds and replaced with elves in disguise. But the worst part is watching the final morning of camp where the final breakfast will be her. The girl lets out a squeak of fear and the laughing stops. All the elves turn to her and she runs. The elves chase after her and the girl knows that she's going to be caught until she remembers the one place the elves would never go. The girl runs for the lake. She's almost there, but the largest elf is right behind her. 10 yards, five yards, the elf dives for her, but the girl jumps off the dock into the cold water below. The elf stares down at the girl and changes back into the counselor. She tells the girl to get out or she's in trouble, but the girl doesn't move. She says they were only joking about eating her, but the girl is not fooled. Then, the counselor threatens to dive in and grab her, but the girl doesn't budge and dares her to, unless she's scared. At that, the counselor turns back into a real form and all of the elves rage and rage on the dock, powerless to get the girl. And so the girl stays in the water all night, waiting for her parents to arrive in the morning to save her. She's scared, cold, wet, and tired, but she smiles because she knows that in a few hours, camp will finally be over. Mm -hmm.